All right, in this video, we're going to look at how to do three types of molarity problems. So molarity is a measure of concentration, like how much stuff is dissolved in a certain amount of water. And the important thing we need to know is that molarity, first off, it's always abbreviated with a capital M. It is moles of solute, which is like the salt or usually the solid that dissolves, over liters of, over liters of solution, like so usually how much liquid total there is, although it also encompasses how much space the solid takes up. Anyway. That's the formula. So this formula is going to be crucial to doing any of this. So in the first one, we're looking for molarity. So we want to get this, and so in some fashion or another, we have moles and liters. They just may not be in the form that we want. So we want to dissolve 30 grams of NaCl. That is the solute. The problem is it's in grams, and I want it in moles. So we have to first convert that to moles. So we'll need the molar mass of NaCl. So I'll consult my periodic table, and I'll add up NaCl, which adds up to 58... 0.44 grams for one mole. That's the molar mass of NaCl. So I'll do a quick conversion. I have 30 grams of NaCl, and again, it's 58 grams per mole. So I have a little less. I have less than a mole, right? I need 58 grams to get one mole. So 30 grams, how much is that? So we divide by 58.44. I get 0.51 moles, which makes sense. You know, it's about roughly 60 grams per mole, and we have 30. So we have half a mole. So that's going to go in the formula. Liters of solution. So I have solution here, but it's in milliliters. So I need to know that there are 1,000 milliliters in one liter. So 200 milliliters of solution. Every 1,000 milliliters is a liter. So 200 is 0.2 liters. So that's my conversion there. I could also move the decimal point. If you remember how to do that, it will be three spots to the left. So now the molarity is simply going to be the moles of solute, 0.51, divided by the liters of solution, 0.2. And I do this, and I get 2.55. And that will be moles per liter, or big M, molarity, 2.55 molarity. And that's how we calculate molarity. But that's not the only type of problem we could get. Okay, so here's another problem. In this case, I'm looking for grams of CaCl2. To make 400 milliliters of 0.8 capital M, that means molarity. So in this case, I'm given molarity, and I'm given something about the solution. So remember, molarity will have this equation equals moles of solute over liters of solution. So we say, what do we know? Well, we know the molarity already, and we know the solution, we just don't have it in the right unit. So first, we'll convert the 400 milliliters into liters again. There's 1,000 liters in a milliliter. Nope. 1,000 milliliters in a liter, silly me. So 400 is 0.4 liters. Okay, so that's in the right form. So we can start plugging in. 0.8 is the molarity. We know the volume is 0.4. We don't know this value. So we're going to solve for x. And I usually say cross, multiply, and divide is a good way to do it. So x times 1 is x. 0.8 times 0.4 is 0.32. So x is 0.32, but be careful. What are the units up here? It's always in moles. And this isn't asking us for moles. It's asking us for grams. So we're going to have to calculate the molar mass of CaCl2. So we'll add up on the periodic table what CaCl2 is. And it turns out it's 1 mole of CaCl2 is 110.98 grams. Okay, I have 0.32 moles, so I have about a third. So just to do this out, 0.32 moles... Every one mole is 110.98 grams. So I'll just multiply that out, and I get 35.51 grams. So that's how many grams of CaCl2 it will take to make this volume at this concentration. Again, this big M, you need to be able to recognize that that's molarity and plug it in the appropriate spot. Last problem. Okay, I have my concentration. I want to know how much volume I can make. So now I'm looking for the bottom part of this equation. I know 0.8 is my molarity, and I want to know how many milliliters I can make. So that's the bottom part. That's where, except that's going to be in liters, remember. But I don't need the top part. I know 64 grams of this, but again, that's in the wrong units. I have to get that to moles. So I'm going to have to add up the mass of KNO3. So I will do that. 39.1 plus 14.01 plus 48. I get 101.11. So one mole of KNO3 equals 101.11 grams. And now I'm going to convert 64 grams into moles. So 64 grams 
and it takes 101.11 grams to get a mole, so I do not have enough to get a mole with 64 grams. But let's confirm, I get 0.63 moles. That should make sense. So that number is going to go up here, 0.63 moles. I want to solve for x now. So again, I like to cross, multiply, and divide. So 0.63 times 1 is 0 0.63. 0 0.8 times x is 0.8x. And now I want to solve for x, so I'll divide by 0.8 on both sides. So 0.63 divided by 0.8 gives me 0.79 rounded. And now remember, what are the units of x? This is in liters. So 0.79 liters, it asks for milliliters. So now I've got to convert that to milliliters. Remember, there's one liter in 1,000 milliliters. So 0.79 liters, just essentially multiplying by 1,000, I'll get 790 milliliters. And that's how you do really the three types of molarity problems. So it's all about using the equation and fitting your variables into the proper units to be able to use that equation. You'll always know two out of three, solve for the third. Um, so just do some practice with that until you're comfortable with it, um, but that's the gist of it. So until next time, I am Derek Genova. Have a delightful day.